Now, before you all jump in about lubrication and the wrong sort of seals and the wrong sort of metals, let me just tell you that these two hydraulic rams cost me just 15 euro from a market store. So I wasn't risking much for the experiment. My thinking goes like this. If compressed air would blow the piston out and if the flywheel would push it back in again, then I'd have the basis for an air engine, which would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? But I didn't want to risk lots of money if it doesn't work, hence the market stall. Mind you, they were both seized up, so I'm not sure I got that much of a bargain. The piston rods are corroded. Also, they're not straight anymore. I tried to get them apart using my usual method, but that didn't work. Even with a chain for better grip. So, I tried some heat. No, I mean heat. But that didn't work either. So, not a good start, but remember that the alternative was me trying to build a piston from scratch without a suitable lathe. So they're still better than that. Finally, I got it moving, sort of. Although it stuck on the in stroke and it stuck on the out stroke. But perhaps it would get smoother with use. Maybe. In order to test this, I had to make a crank half as long as the stroke of the piston. That's the length of the piston movement. And somehow attach it to the flywheel shaft. I made some little plates to go on the shaft and I used a gate hinge for the crank because it has a chunky round bar welded on at 90 degrees. Of course I needed to make a bracket for the other end too, but it's really handy how this ram has holes at both ends. Perhaps they always do. <laughs> do they? I don't know, I can't remember. Oh dear, that's horribly rough isn't it? And not getting any better either. Hmm. I decided that the only way was to get help from the experts. So I took it over the mountain to Cronin's Engineering Works where Tom and Mark were very helpful and I learned a lot. Mark opened the top so I could get to the seals inside. I sanded away at the corrosion carefully and removed one set of seals completely because Although this is a double acting ram, I'm only using one end, so I only need one set of seals. And those two things made all the difference. Now the piston slides in and out reasonably smoothly. So it's time to add some air. Obviously, the trick is to get the timing right. Only allow air in when it's time to push out the piston. Yes, I know I could be powering both directions of this ram, but let's not get too fancy now. Oh, now look at that. It appears to be going round and round. How exciting. I tried the other way. 
Yes, it needs some oil in with the air to slow down the corrosion. But one step at a time. Now, if only I had some sort of valve that magically lets the air in on the outward stroke and stops it for the inward one, then surely we'd have a crude air engine, wouldn't we? So that's my next challenge. Some sort of magic valve.